Hello everybody, welcome back to life. Last episode we made our star base which um which still needs an interior because I can't be living in this, it's horrible. What I want to focus on today is of course uh, the interior, but I also want to go diamond mining because last episode this happened. Oh no, oh oh no, wait I can make it, no you don't, no! I don't want it to happen again. I also want to build a brand new building that's going to go here and uh, these uh, sheep are very loud which means I have to move them somewhere else now. Oh, ow. I'm going to go mining now because I need diamond armour because I, I, I died last episode I, I really don't want that to happen again. <laughs> anyway, catch you then. So from mining I managed to get 16 diamonds. I also managed to get 14 obsidian, which is enough for this enchantment table that I'm making, and of course, another portal to go to the nether. Now, I'm not sure if you remember, but last episode, um, when I was building the exterior of this, I made this little extension thing here. I want to connect it to the interior of the house. Um, so, if I mine through this wall, yeah, it's here. Now, I just have to mine all the way down. So I've mined all of it now, I just need to test if I if it, this kills me. Oh, okay, well, it, it doesn't kill me. Pro I probably should have tested that in the test world. Got down to like two hearts. After almost killing myself, I want to do some more mining to get some more diamonds. Myself, 11 more diamonds, which brings us up to 32, which is brilliant, which means we can get a full set of diamond I've also got some more iron and a whole bunch of coal. I want to make a full set of diamond armor and for my iron armor i want to put it on this armor stand here just as a little reminder that we survived that long and now we finally have full diamond armor so now i've got myself full diamond armor and i've got an enchantment table uh, somewhere <laughs> i want to go and get some bookshelves because i want to make an enchantment setup so then i can hopefully enchant my pickaxe to be Silk Touch because, and I need to make another one to get fortune, but I need Silk Touch because today's episode is going to need, I mean today's episode, today's build is going to need a lot of stone. And I think it'll just be easier if I mine it with like a stone directly instead of having to smelt it. It saves me coal and more time, so that means I can make this house quicker because I'm going to make some stone bricks. And there's a bloody moth in my, oh my god. Oh my god, there's a moth in my room right now. What the hell? <laughs> I thought that was a spider. That scared the life out of me. It just flew up in front of my face. <laughs> oh. It's gone into my brother's room now. Time to go and kill some cows. I also want to decorate with the new uh, chiseled bookshelf, so that one should be fun. And I also planted some sugar cane. While I wait for my sugar cane to go, I think I should go and gather some more resources like deep slate because I need deep slate. I also need some white terracotta which I am going to take from the stonemason's house. Hello guys, it's been about a week since I've recorded that last clip and I haven't made any progress on the house at all. But how are the... Oh, Lack. Oh my god, I thought it was going to die. But I have been doing some sort of progress. I've been gathering some paper here to make the bookshelves. Wait, what? Sugar canes? What? Has it always been called sugar canes? That's so weird. I saw it used to be called sugar cane. I must have changed it. Or oh, I'm just going mad. <laughs> so, as you can see, at the moment there are no interiors. But if we just close this door and open it back up again, we now have a fully fu uh, fully decorated interior and it's functional as well, I was going to say fully functional but anyway, we've got some storage up here and of course some um, over here and we've also put like a little compost there because there's like a lot of barrels in this room so uh, yeah, got some like leaves hanging down, I really love it, however this room is not the best, I don't actually know what to do with this so I just put a crafting table down and this is a little floor because I thought it looked nice and also I needed somewhere to put the smithers and these at smithing tables and these look really nice for a floor, a floor, bro, 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 floor, floor, floor <laughs> for a floor block and a roof block as well look that underneath pattern looks really cool so I want to use uh, some more of these in future builds 
really happy with how this kitchen came out. It's very like overgrown and greeny, but we do now have enough, I think, paper to make, yep, 45 books. So let's just go and make 45 books, and now we can make the 15 bookshelves and get, oh, wait, there we go, and make ourselves a fully functional level 30 enchantment table which is going to go in this room. I've only done the bottom floor so every, everything else is pretty rubbish. This one over here. There we go. Now this should be a level 30 enchantment. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I don't have level 30. I was about to enchant my things. Once we get to level 30, I want to get myself a silk touch pickaxe. I'm going to have to move my sugar cane. But if you can call this a sugar cane farm, I am going to have to move that. I'm happy with how the kitchen turned out. But we do not stop there. I want to do this room and this hidden little room here. This room is like really basic, really. It's not much to it. The charm and tape room is quite done is done all i need to do is do the chimney over here and everything should be a finish it so we run into a problem when i was making this room i had to make this out of iron this out of iron that out of iron and i had to break these campfires like 10 times so that's why i've got loads of charcoal which means that used up all of my wood all the wood i've got i just went mining again and i've got like a bit of oak my bed is going to go over here on top of the barrels and now I can just set my spawn so if I do happen to die which hopefully does not happen in this episode because I've got a lot of stuff to do the other interiors are going to have to wait until a bit later because I have completely run out of resources and that is not good the original plans for today was going to be building a building over here but I think instead of building that building I should do the landscape because remember how I talked about wanting an arch? Well, I've made the arch on the test world and it looks really cool. First night in the house. Oh my god, I was about to jump down there and I usually land on two hearts and a half. Let me just kill myself. <gasps> oh, I think I just might go down this way instead. It's a bit safer. Yeah, I think I might uh, do the archway instead because also it gives me a bit more land to work with and I also want to uh, put my old armor set in the new house a torch if you want there we go <laughs> oh wait this is my first pickaxe and yeah I think that looks a bit better now <laughs> I need to move the pigs and the lahamas out of there okay so we, we've got a decent amount of dirt See, it's turning night time, so I need to go and get that coal. Okay, well, I take that back. It wasn't a very good coal thing. So, oh no! Oh, oh! Oh! Ah! Oh my god! What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Oh my god. The only problem with uh, me is, well, I don't have a problem, but um, the only problem is that, of course, that, like, if I get more things, I'm going to have to mince around them all and put them all in their individual sort of chests. But I think it's a good idea to have the food here, which I'm nearly running out of space already, so that's not good. Now I've got up to level 24 now. So, not too bad. I had this bad trip wire hook, so I didn't know what to do with it, so I just put it there. as a little door handle, which you can't reach. Uh, yeah. Maybe, there we go. Door handle. The very big door. Mm -hmm. Very useful indeed. Aha! Uh -huh. I see a skeleton down there. Oh, put my helmet on. I see you. Let me just go down there. Yeah, really watch this. Oh. Yeah. But you weren't expecting that. Yeah. Got you. 
So after killing the skeleton, I want to go and collect some skulls because that gives you XP. And then I want to go and collect some by the lava, but shortly left because, yeah, obvious reasons. And then I went down mining for redstone because it gives you XP. And then, but while I was mining redstone, I stumbled across a zombie spawner. And after finding this amazing book, I wanted to go and turn this spawner into a zombie spawner so I could get some XP faster. I forgot to mention this, but I did find a couple of diamonds. Finish the farm. There's only one thing left to do, as usual, is to remove the torch. Right, let's see if they are coming. I saw a zombie. I've got a wind sword. I don't have a really good sword. Okay. There's the zombie, and my torch, and these are here. And you can keep the one flash because I don't want it. And then now I would just sit and wait until all the zombies come. Okay, so it is working. I see it spawning. Yep, they are spawning. Okay, we finally got the lovely party enchantment. And also, when I came down here, I, I made this little water thing because to make them spawn, what I had to do was come up here and then I saw enough I went down here but as I was coming down I went forwards and I um, yeah I almost died which is not good really oh we've gone breaking I'm not sure if it's good three two one fortune no oh. two hours later just done one last enchantment and this is the pickaxe that I got. <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. We've got some, <gasps> we've got some touch. Yes, yes, yes. I'm really happy. Oh, we can finally start this build. I forgot about everything that I said yesterday that we wouldn't be doing so good because we are now. Now that it's finally daytime, I'm going to go mining once again for some stone this time. And if I find any diamonds, which I probably won't, or any ores, then I'm just going to use my fortune pickaxe. No, the creeper just blew up. We're missing just a couple blocks, but we should be okay. There we go, all fixed up now. Luckily it didn't blow up my chest, because that would have been a nightmare. Okay, so now that I kind of want the shape that I want for this front bit, and I like it, it's like a little M, and it comes out all the way down the hill here, I am probably going to start a time lapse. Uh, as you can see, I've laid out all the way over here, but it's time lapse time. This last bit here, there we go. And here we have it. It is done, the archway is done, and I absolutely love it. I especially love this bridge. Oh, I don't love that though. <laughs> I especially love this bridge because it just like pops out and I've always wanted to do one of these. Ever since I saw this, I've always wanted to like do it. And yeah, uh, it looks nice, not on the inside. But on the outside, on both sides, kind of, I think I kind of like the other side more. It's just a bit more enclosed. But anyway, we do need to do the interior, I guess, of the cave. 
and what better way to make it than by doing a little magic swirl and here it is we have the whole cave this little cave that's going to go in the right corner that we're going to build in our next episode and i absolutely love the inside it's very pretty especially coming from this bridge but the little pathway onto the right is going to lead to something that we'll be doing in our next episode Ooh, spooky scary anyway guys thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one Goodbye.